Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the asset store called Heavy Knight. Now, I have reviewed a couple of things from this creator before, and I do like the style. This is very, it's cartoony, but it's got that little extra realism to it, which I kind of like. So, let's go to the demo scene, and there is a demo scene, which I do like. And we can see here, we get four theoretical different versions. They are the same, just with different colors. So we've got blue, yellow, green, red. And obviously that kind of color scheme is, it's usually implied for like a four player thing. So you'd see this probably on mobile gaming to some extent, if you know what I mean, if you understand my talking of words. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we have the uh, scene, we've got the prefab, so each uh, color. Uh, the materials, obviously, it is the same. If we go here, it is the same, pretty much just different colors. It literally is the same material, just diff colored differently. Same again with the material. Uh, there's the Maya file as well. I didn't actually spot that before. So this is what they were made with. Very nice. Uh, so if we go to the animation controllers, uh, we have the controls as well, so we can quite easily create any uh, further animations for them if we need to. Uh, so obviously you probably would end up doing that. So the overall quality of it, I really like. I really like how they're made. I really like their design and I really like how they look just in general. I think they're really, really nice. Look at that. And as you guys know, I always like to add some post-processing. Now that does look kind of nice. I do like that. Animations look really smooth, sleek, useful as well. So the quality and quantity, I would say, is fairly decent. Quantity, obviously, we get the, the four of them, but it does imply that on the uh, store page anyway. And quality is really well done, because remember, this is a free asset as of recording this tutorial. Remember, assets do change price from time to time, so just keep that in mind. And size, 141 meg. It's somewhat large uh you could probably get away with it for mobile gaming to a degree um but i don't think it's huge just be mindful if you're on a bit of a slow or metered connection there uh, obviously they're quite versatile because you can take this all the materials for example let's take the blue one let's stop his animation uh let's play it again so we can see it all in action while we make the changes and let's turn on the post processing game and let's go to albedo alpha on him and let's increase the normal map and you can see just how gritty and worn he now looks so obviously it's highly customizable to that degree and if you want to go really creepy you could just turn him completely black see that's kind of cool that looks like some kind of boss just ugh, coming out of some oil somewhere or something like that so yeah, I do think it is customizable to that degree. And obviously you could change the um, textures yourself if you wanted to. You could edit that and just do whatever you want with it. Change it in Photoshop if you wanted. Extras. Uh, I'd say the Maya file is probably uh, an extra there. That's You don't usually get that with assets. They don't usually include the um, source data for it all. Uh, so we've got all these animations as well. Um, does it say the amount of animations? Yeah, to say 13 animations. That's all good. Uh, so extras, not massive amounts of extras there, but hey, it's pretty good for what you get. Uh, usefulness, it's good, obviously going to be very useful in a lot of different things. If you go in for a bit of a cartoony style with maybe slightly realistic to some degree, some kind of battle game, some kind of mobile multiplayer game, these are going to be really good to use. They're going to be really fun. Even if you're just prototyping a game, they're really sleek and really well designed. So I, I would say, yeah, they're going to be quite useful in a lot of different things. I mean, look at that wall there. That's like big, heavy guys really coming to get you. That's really, really good. Folders laid out nice and neatly. I always like to see them. Some assets don't come so neat. Uh, but yeah, this one is really, really neat and I quite like it. So let's undo him set him back to normal so guys as you know i don't rate assets I either recommend them or i don't 
I wouldn't recommend this to everybody because I don't think everybody is aiming to create this style of game. However, I would actually recommend the asset to the people who are creating that style of game. Even if you're not sure what style of game you want to create, I still think this will be something worthwhile somewhere along the way, even if it's just some armor that is a background object just somewhere you're probably going to find some use out of this even if you want to trial a couple of things in your game if you just want to play around and maybe get some knight as a controller to play around with as uh you know he's, he's your third person controller or whatever then yeah this is probably going to be useful to you so yeah i'd recommend it so guys have you used this in your game uh what type of game is it if you have uh i'd actually quite like to know and how you've used this asset let me know in the comments and if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself let me know as well because i'd love to check it out finally guys don't forget click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well and you can stay up to date with everything i upload about video game development on my channel because there's always something new to see something new to learn because i upload regularly guys Thank you very much for watching.